वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट इफ द टी बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू वर्टिकल शेयर ऑफ ट्वेल्व किप्स डिटरमाइन द वर्टिकल शेयर फोर्स रजिस्टेड बाय द फ्लेंच सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द टी बीम हैविंग विथ ऑफ ट्वेल्व इंच एंड टोटल हाइट इज नाइन इंच दिस पोर्शन इज नोन एज फ्लेंच वाइल दिस पोर्शन इज नोन एज वेब आई विल राइट इट फ्लेंच एंड दिस इज वेब so what we have this is applied by a shear force of 12 kip so you have to find the vertical shear resisted by this flange so let's start with the solution so as we know that shearing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t so first we will find the sectional property sectional property which is i since this beam is not symmetrical about horizontal so first we will find the uh, the axis passing through its centroid so for that we have formula y dash is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area so let this is composed of this is first uh, the flange is the first member and the uh, this web is the second so according to this formula we will get y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by a1 plus a2 so if you take this upper surface as a reference line so what will be the a1 so a1 will be this one 12 Twelve is width and three is height. So a one is a one is equal to four. Uh, three multiply twelve. Twelve multiply by three. What is y one dash? So y one dash is distance from this upper reference line till the mid of the first section. So this is y one dash. And this y one dash is equal to three divided by two, which is equal to one point five inch. Now, what is area a two? So area a two is this area. So you can see this area is six uh, multiplied by four. So a two is six multiplied by four. And what is y two dash? So y two dash is distance from this surface till the mid of the second section. So this distance is three. And this is three, so this distance is six. This is y two dash that is equal to six inch, and this is one point five inch, six inch. Now we will put all this value in this formula, so you will get y dash is equal to y one, which is one point five, multiplied by area a one, which is twelve into three, plus. Y two dash, which is six, and area A two is six multiplied by four, divided by sum of area A one plus A two. So A one is twelve into three plus four into six, which is A two. So when you calculate it, you will get the value three point three zero inch. So it means that. Its neutral axis passing through centroid lies. At a distance of three point three zero from the top, so let this is its neutral axis. If I extend it like this, neutral axis passing through centroid, and this distance is like this. This is its y dash. I will write it y dash. Y dash is three point three zero. This distance. Okay. Now we will find uh, moment of inertia. By using parallel axis theorem for first member one, since this is away from neutral axis, so we, by using parallel axis theorem, its moment of inertia is one over twelve, breadth is twelve, and height is three cube. One over twelve b h cube plus a d square. So area is twelve into three, and what is d square? So d square is distance from neutral axis. Till the mid of first first section, so this one distance is d. So this distance can be obtained if you subtract one point five, one point five this distance from this total, which will give you this d. 
so I will write 3.30 minus 1.5 square so this is the moment of inertia of the first member plus 1 over 12 this is breadth which is 4 and height is 6 so 1 over 12 uh, 4 into 6 cube plus AD square so area is 4 into 6 and what about D for this so D is distance from neutral axis this is the neutral axis till the mid of second section so this is the D for this portion this is let this is D2 and this was D1 now D2 can be obtained if you subtract uh, this total distance which is 6 if you subtract 3.30 from this distance 6 so you will get this d2 so i will write 6 minus 3.30 whole square so when you calculate it you will get the moment of inertia comes out to be 390.60 inch power 4 now you have this i you have v you have this i you have t for this which is 12 inch for the flange you can check it this is for 12 inch so you will find q so for q what we will do is that q is equal to y dash into a dash so if i consider this portion i will show you i will show you by using a color so if this area is taken initially because we are interested to find out in whole so if this area is taken as a dash a dash the total distance is 3.30 and let this distance is y if this distance is taken as y from neutral axis so this remaining distance will be equal to this distance will be equal to 3.30 minus y clear this distance so area a dash will be equal to 12 multiply by 12 multiply by this 3.30 minus y i will show you this is 12 and this distance is 3.30 multiply by y and what is y dash y dash bar so y dash bar is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section this distance this this is y dash bar and you can see this is equal to uh, y dash minus 3.30 which is total distance 3.30 minus the half of this which is 3.30 3. 3.30 minus y divided by 2 so it will give you 3.30 minus 1.65 plus 0.5 y so from here y dash is equal to 1.65 plus 0.5 y so y dash y dash this is not y1 this is y dash bar and that is equal to 1.65 plus 0 0.5 y now you have this value this value you can just put it in this formula q is equal to 1.65 plus 0 0.5 times y multiply by a 12 multiply by 12 multiply by 3.30 minus y so when you multiply all this you will get at the end 65.34 minus 6y square now you have all the value you have q as well so you can just put it in the formula and the formula is tau is equal to v into q divided by i into t you will find the sh sharing stress on the flange so v is equal to 12 kips so 12 multiply by q is 65.34 minus 6y square divided by i which we have calculated here is 390.60 into t is 12 inch so when you calculate it you will get the sharing stress is 0 
0.28 minus 0.01536 y square. So this is the sharing stress that is resisted by uh, flange by by flange. We are interested to find out the shear force resisted by flange resisted by flange so we know that uh, um, this sharing stress is the function of y so sharing stress in general is equal to sharing force divided by area so from here shear force is equal to ta into a since this is a function of y so we can write vf sharing stress resisted by will be equal to ta into da because we have taken a small section a dash which is you can say da as well clear this one so far this is the whole section and y start from this portion this is y clear till this portion so vf is equal to time to do a integral over the area so from here you will put ta which is equal to 0 0.16728 minus 0 0.01536 and uh, da what about da so da is 12 into this distance which is a dash is also taken as da small differential area so 12 into dy sorry dy Sorry, 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 sorry. So, not DA. This is DA. So, DA is equal to 12 multiplied by, if you take this small differential distance DY. So, this will be 12 into DY. Now, you have this vert vertical shear force resistance by web. What will be the limit? So, limit you can see this y starts from here so but the flange starts from here so this distance is 0 0.3 so y start from 0 0.3 till 3.30 so i will write it 0 0.3 till 3.3 inch so integral of 0 0.3 3.3 inch will be equal to 0 0.16728 multiplied by 12 into dy minus integral of 0 0.3 3.3 inch into 0 0.1536 multiplied by 12 dy now if now it's very simple so if you multiply these two terms you will get another constant and the integral of this uh, constant into dy will be that constant into y and you will put the limit you can easily do it if you have problem you can ask me so if you solve this you will get at the end the result will be 3.82 kips so this is the vertical shear force vertical shear force resisted by flange which is the answer and that was all about this problem 7-5 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching